Hey, ex-art student here. Today I am creating some streetwear. I decided to make a funny design that was fashionable. And for some reason, words on apparel are so much cooler in a different language. I picked a word that would mean a lot to my husband. As in, he enjoys eating pickles a lot. a close-up of me wasting vinyl. I forgot when using my t-shirt vinyl that there's a plastic cover on it, so my designs have to be mirrored always. Of course, I did not mirror the designs. Something I will never get used to is my vinyl cutter slurping up vinyl and cutting into my machine. I choose to include these clips of me messing up because my art process is never perfect. There's always something that goes wrong for some reason, but I think that's kind of normal for anything that you're trying to make. the vinyl has been properly cut, I have to weed the darn pieces. This can be very calming or very stress inducing, depending on how intricate the design is. When there's a big piece of vinyl, I can pull it off, and it's very fun, but super stressful. Because if you stretch the vinyl too much, it can alter your design, and if you pull too much with a piece not fully cut, it can completely destroy the design as well. So it's a fun little dance you do.
Don't get me wrong, it's all worth it in the end when the design finally comes together, but the process, well, it's a process. Making sure your design is in the right place is so important. If you don't align it properly, it's permanent. I still mess up. Taking your time and stepping away from it is key. Like even just putting it on the floor and seeing if it lines up correctly, do that. Or if someone else is in the room, ask for a second opinion. I have asked many times for help to make sure my designs work properly and are not in someone's armpit instead of on the chest. I'm actually really proud of this concept and design. I decided to make kind of a 3D look with a double layer of vinyl colors. And I really think these two colors popped on this sweatshirt. Finally, I was finished. 
but yet something kept tugging at me. I just felt iffy about the design. I liked it, but something was off. So I decided to add some more pieces, some different font to the top of the hood, and I feel like this actually made everything pull together in the design and become cohesive finally. this video consider checking out my stuff and or subscribing thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you again soon bye